This video focuses on auditing an organization's manufacturing process. In this video, we specifically focus on the audit of the TPM activities being undertaken by the operator in manufacturing. The auditor is auditing the operator. Watch this video and identify whether the auditor does this audit effectively. So can you explain me the process for TPM on this machine? Yeah, so I have a check sheet to fill out. Uh, at the start of every shift, I have to complete this form here where I check the cleanliness of the machine, I clean the tool, and I check some parameters on the machine. So this is the check. Okay. Uh, this is this and week's This checks. is the record. Yeah. yeah, I can see that this is yeah. today. Um, so I can see that you completed till Friday. Why is that? Yeah, we had an audit nonconformity on one uh, previous ITF audit about the forms not being filled in. So to make sure I don't forget, I fill the forms out on a Monday in advance, because I do the checks anyway, so I complete the full week's checks um, in terms of checking the boxes on a Monday. That that's make sure we don't get any problems on audits again. I, I, I won't forget that way. Okay, so it looks like there's a pressure here of, what is that, 245? Uh, where do you take that reading from? Uh, I get that reading from the specification sheet. So the spec says here that that pressure has to be between 60 and 70 bar. So what I do, I take the pressure that the previous shift recorded, because I've never really been shown where that gauge is yeah. on the machine. Yeah, there's um, some... So I, I record what the guy on the previous shift did. Okay, uh, I would expect there to be a pressure gauge on this machine. No, there is a gauge. I've just not been trained okay. to know where where the gauge is. Okay. So I just record the value from the previous shift. Yeah. Well, that's. I'll, I'll discuss that with the management. Thank you. Right. Okay. The good thing is the auditor is down on the shop floor observing the maintenance that has been undertaken by the operator under the organization TPM program. It is evident from the audit that the TPM process is not being effectively implemented. In some companies, check sheets are just filled out, but the checks are not really done. And in this case, even worse, the check sheet is filled out for one week, but we are only on a Tuesday. Worse still, values were being filled in, but the operator doesn't know where on the machine to make the relevant measurements. It is clear falsification of data that would form the basis for a major nonconformity. The good thing is that the auditor did not just check the paperwork. He asked the operator to show the actual checks that should be done, yeah, which uncovered this problem. Let's summarize the key learning points. In some companies, operator-led TPM is just a paperwork exercise. A good ITF16949 audit will have the competency to detect this by asking operators to show what they actually do as part of the TPM checks and where they get the data from to record on any TPM check sheet. Falsification of data is a serious issue. In this case, the auditor can is correct to say that they will follow up on this issue with the organization top management, as this could form the basis for a major nonconformity. For more information, visit the website in the description and don't forget to subscribe.